I have been really inspired to do some Christmas baking and I thought maybe it's a little bit too early but you can never be too early for Christmas and it's coming up really soon it's only like 35 days away or something so I thought that I would just get a head start on my Christmas recipes and so this is the first of many to come. So one of my favorite sweet treats to make around Christmas time is coconut ice and I actually found a photo that has inspired me to make something called Christmas ice. So this is the photo and as you can see it is half green and half red and that's just instead of the usual half white and half pink. So I actually never thought about this and I just figured it'd be a great festive idea to make it a bit more Christmassy. So I picked up some green and red food coloring and I'm really excited to make this recipe. So basically this is just a coconut ice recipe but we're making it green and red which makes it festive and Christmassy. So I'm really excited to do this and I'm also going to be showing at the end some ways to package or wrap it nicely if you want to give this as a gift. So firstly we're taking three and a half cups of desiccated coconut. So I'm just going to be putting three cups in here. Now we're going to sift two cups of pure icing sugar into the bowl. And so we're just going to sift that gently into the mixture. Sometimes if I have these little hard bits at the end that don't want to sift through, I'll take the back of a spoon and sort of help it sift through like this. Now it's time to take our cream of tartar and then just a little tiny pinch of it and we'll just sprinkle that in there. Now you need to get your sweetened condensed milk and you need 390 grams. So this is a 400 gram can so I'm just going to be putting most of it into this and I chose skim but you know you can just choose whatever. I was just trying to make this a little bit healthier but it's not too much healthier. So I'm just pouring my sweetened condensed milk into the mixture and then I'm just going to be mixing it in with a wooden spoon. So now is the fun bit where we get to color our mixture to Krispies colors. So what you want to do is split your mixture in half. Now evenly spoon your mixture into two bowls. coloring so just add a couple of drops into each bowl so I'm going to be of course using green and red so I'll start off with the green and I want mine to be really really vibrant so I'm going to be adding quite a bit now mix the fruit coloring into the mixture Keep mixing until you can't see any white left and all of the color is even throughout the mixture. So the green is finished and evenly coated in the color and now I'm going to move on to the red. Now begin to put your mixture in a lined baking tray and just do one color on the bottom and one on top. So I'm starting with red on the bottom. Now put on top of the red mixture the green mixture. Now we're going to be putting this into the fridge for about an hour or until it's set. Okay, so I just took my Christmas ice out of the fridge and it's been in there for about two hours. So it's definitely hardened and hard enough to slice up. Definitely slice them however you want. I'm just going to be slicing mine up into squares. And here is the finished product. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think the green and red give the perfect festive pop of color that you need to have for any sort of sweet treats. It really just puts you in a Christmassy mood. So I just absolutely love the way that these turned out. They're super cute. And now I'm going to go on to showing you how you can give these as a gift. The first wrapping idea is leaving it on the plate it is on now and then just getting some cellophane and wrapping it up and sort of just like bundling it at the top and putting a cute card on it. That would be a really cute idea. The second way is using these Christmas gift boxes and they're kind of like 
takeaway Chinese container style, but they're much smaller. So here's what the containers look like, and you just open them at the top like that, and then unfold them. Then you can put your little sweet treats in there, which is a great idea. I would love to give this and receive this as a present even, because I just think that the whole green and red theme with the green and red box, I just think it matches really cutely and perfectly. This would be the better option if you just wanted to give a small serving of the Christmas ice, but if you were looking to give like the whole tray maybe even, and you didn't want to use the plate idea because it's a bit flimsy, you could buy a really cheap Christmas festive container. So I got this from Bargain City and this was only I think two or three dollars and it just has little gingerbread men on it and you could just transfer your Christmas ice into a cute container like this and I think that would be a great present to receive. You could even wrap it up in some red cellophane since the lid is green and have the red and green theme continued with the packaging. And so that is the finished recipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first festive Christmassy video of the year and look forward to a lot more coming up because I already have a lot more planned and a lot of ideas for Christmassy things that I really want to get up on my channel before Christmas so that you guys have some time to plan if you want to make these recipes so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you in my next video bye everyone